Hi and welcome to today's video. I'm Lauren and today I'm going to be creating my July bullet journal spread and taking you through that whole process. So let's get into the video. I chose to do a summer cottage floral theme for this month's bullet journal and mostly sticking with an orange and purple color scheme. This was inspired by all of the beautiful orange lilies and violas and pansies that I've been seeing in my neighborhood. I started first with watercolors and I wanted to do little dots just to kind of like show that this was my main color scheme. And then I worked on a calligraphy style writing of the word July. My calligraphy is a little bit rough, but this is how it turned out. And I decorated that with a couple of little dots just to make it stand out a little bit more. Then I moved on to starting to paint one of the orange lilies that I saw. And I was really, really excited to be using this color because orange has always been one of my favorite colors. I think just the vibrancy of it. And when I think of these orange lilies, they really are just so vibrant and colorful. And I was really excited to kind of recreate that. So I put down a very light orange to start and then I used a darker, more brighter orange to go over that. And then I needed to mix a very, very, very bright, 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 vibrant green. So I mixed some green with yellow and created this kind of color tone to do the leaves of the orange lily. I decided that I would make the leaves sort of um, go as a border around the page. And I improvised a little bit with the placement of the petals and leaves just sort of trying to make it work with the layout that I was doing. Next up, I wanted to start creating some of these violas that I had seen. I'm not totally sure if they're violas or if they're pansies. Um, I'm still a little bit confused which are which, but I love both equally and I'm just always so um, amazed with all of the beautiful colors and variations of them. I decided I would make a couple of these um, in all of the little spots that were on the page and then once that was done I went back to my orange lilies and added in some of this very very uh, rich red that is coming out of the middle of the orange lily and I also used a darker green on my leaves just emphasizing them a little bit more I took some Posca marker and added a little bit more details to the pansies or violas, uh, making them just stand out a tiny bit more with these extra details. I found then some stickers that I thought would be really nice to fill the little gaps um, because I thought that it needed a little bit more in the spaces. I didn't really want to have too many big gaps. So I found some big ones and small ones and then I took a fine liner and I went around all of what I had painted because I really really like that look. And that is the final front page of this July bullet journal. I went out to look at the fire lilies, the orange lilies and this is how it looked with them and then in the neighborhood i came across a bunch of children's drawings of all these beautiful different types of flowers i was so amazed with like how many different variations they drew 
and how bright and colorful all of the pictures were so this is just a really nice little thing to see on the way while I was out there walking Next up, I stuck down some of these purple pages. The glue did leave a bit of a weird mark, but that did dry and smooth out later, so I was really grateful about that. I created this little border around the edge, and then I found a paper that looked like this, which is beautiful colors and a couple of these different little tapes. I knew I would be able to use these somehow for some extra decorations, and also this little dotted paper that I thought would be kind of cool. This colored paper, I was playing around with the placement a bit, but I ended up putting it at the top and I used some of the colored tape to make a border. I tried to stick once again using lots of the purples and oranges and then I used some of this uh, paper to create some spaces to do writing on and just left the edges really rough Next up I found some stencils that I had so these are some of the different little images that are on the stencils and I was like going through them all and then eventually I found a couple that I could use in this spread so the first one was this feather, which I thought would be kind of cool to show like, you know, this is where you're going to write something. So I used a black marker and traced out that little feather stencil and it came out pretty cool in the end. And then I took some stamps, I have a couple of different stamps of letters and I was going to use these to create the word July at the top of this paper. orange papers I decided I would turn them into sort of a notebook looking type of picture so this is how I do that is these little dots and then I do these little rounded lines and it turns out to look pretty cool like a little notepad and this is just to show you kind of what the desk looks like when I'm in the middle of the creative process it's always a bit of everything everywhere and then back to some more stamping this I was going to create a word of the month space where I just write like any word that's relevant to me that month and this is how this whole spread turned out. I have a little calendar at the top there with all the month, all the days in July and then at the bottom is the word of the month. On the next page I have an affirmations page where I'll just write some maybe like I don't know maybe six of them that are relevant to me This is my breath of fresh air page, kind of like just breathe. 
every time that I see this page, I'll just be reminded to stop and breathe and just take in the moment. I created one of these in my last June bullet journal as well. And yeah, I really enjoyed that. So I wanted to repeat those pages in today's bullet journal. Moving on to the next couple of pages. For this page, I decided to do some more stickers. Um, of purple onto this bright orange background. I found some different shapes and also some colored paper that would work. It had some nice purple tones in it. it. Sort of reminded me of the calendar paper that I used earlier on. So I cut all of those and arranged them in this formation. I used some of the green as well uh, to bring in the same themes as earlier pages and this is going to be my things to do page where I just make a list of a couple of important big things that I need to do during the month. I use some stencils on that page as well and on this page I was doing a video ideas for my YouTube videos or TikToks or Instagram reels and decorating with a couple of little flowers. So that's what this spread looked like. I have a few elements of the theme in it, just mostly in terms of the colors, the things to do, a lot of space to do, a lot of nice writing on there. And yeah, hopefully a bunch of video ideas of some new exciting videos that will be coming up soon. I definitely have a lot planned, so stay tuned for those. My next pages to create were my dream log and my mood tracker pages. So this was for my dream log. I created this little door. I decorated it with some tape again. And then I used some washi tape because this looked like almost like a brick sort of form. And then I made some grass at the bottom. This you'll see at the end, this was really like the cottage kind of theme that was coming in here. I used some dark red watercolor paints to sort of make the door look a little bit old, rusted kind of paint on it. I really enjoyed this part. I painted these bricks onto the wall and this was so relaxing to do. got into some shiny things <laughs> to add to my dream log. Um, these kind of reminded me of little uh, stars in the galaxy. So I was like, okay, this makes me think of, you know, going to sleep. For my mood tracker, I drew lots of little, little pansies or violas. I made about 31 of them. And the idea is that um, every day during the month, I will color each of those in depending on how I feel that day. Did a very, very bright blue in the sky. So that's sort of how the pages turned out. You'll see here behind the door for my dream log, there's this little beautiful <laughs> shiny area over here reminding me of the nighttime. And these are spots where I can write what I dreamt about in the night if I remember it. And lots of moons and stars. On the other page is the mood tracker. It has little light purple, dark purple, and yellow for the different uh, moods. And those are what I'll color these different flowers in during the month. For the last pages, I did a very simple design just for my monthly roundup. And I did another orange lily using some Posca markers. This is a space where I just write kind of what happened during the month, any big major things I want to remember about the month. Left a little 
bit of these white papers to create that writing on and some more of the floral decorations. Thanks so much for joining me for this video today. I really hope you enjoyed it and maybe got some ideas for your own art journal or bullet journals or creative journals or any kind of journals from this video. Uh, yeah, I'll see you again soon for another video.